here's our function and we want to find the vertical asymptotes and the horizontal so for the vertical asymptotes you want to look for denominator zeros so you set the denominator equal to zero solve it out and you're just going to get x equals eight so something's happening at x equal eight I put the function into the calculator and I made a table second table setup and for this table here is for a for x values approaching 8 from below we notate that as 8 with a little negative sign up to the right it's not negative 8 it just means 8 coming from the left so when you're at 7.995 you get this number pretty large 7.996 getting closer to 8 larger 7.997 larger and when you're at 7.999 you're at 1 e6 that's 10 to the 6th power that's 1 million and then of course when you get to 8 you can't divide by 0 so you get an error so it looks like the numbers were getting very large positive. Then you set up a table. I, I just scrolled down in a table. And x was going to 8 from the right going up this way. So at 8.005, you were at. 40,000, 009, and so forth as it got up to 8.001. The y value was 1e6, which is 1 times 10 to the 6th, so it was 1 million again. So coming from the right down to 8 or coming from the left up to 8, both resulted in the y values going to plus infinity. So there seems like there's a vertical asymptote, asymptote at x equal 8. Then we're going to continue on with the uh, horizontal asymptotes. Uh, we do a similar thing, but the horizontal is going to be considering when x goes to infinity or x goes to negative infinity. So here setting up a table and x is going to positive infinity so we start here at zero goes up goes up the numbers are coming down to nine as we go larger with our x values so it seems like there's a horizontal asymptote at y equal nine at least as x goes to positive infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, setting up this chart, starting off at 0, going to negative 25, negative 50, getting to negative 150, it seems like the values are coming down to 9 again. So it seems like if you go to positive infinity or negative infinity, the result is that y equals 9 is your horizontal asymptote. So then we graph it over here, and indeed that's what the picture looks like. Horizontal asymptote at 9, y equals 9, vertical asymptote at x equals 8, and the graph approaches the vertical as you come toward 8 and it has this kind of motion to it you see it's swooping up there and as the values of x go to infinity the y values 
come down to 9. And as you go to negative infinity going this way, the values come down to 9.